that loving kindness and favor and goodwill rested richly upon them all. So, great grace. Um, the word grace is the Greek word, you know, in the New Testament is charis. And uh, you, when you look up for a definition on that word, it really depends on the context that it's used in. But just some things, and, I, and I'm not going to read all of these, but what His grace does for us. It makes us bold. That's Romans 15.15. 15. It enables us. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3.10. 1 Corinthians 3.10. It endows us. 1 Corinthians 12.4. It empowers us. 1 Corinthians 15.10. That's 1 Corinthians 15.10. It infuses us with godliness. 2 Corinthians 1.12 And you can look at these later on and muse on it because this is a never-ending gospel. Yes. It equips us. Now, I can use some more equipping in my life mm -hmm. for the things, the now things that God's called me to do. 2 Corinthians 9.8 equips us. Grace makes us bold. Romans 15.15 15. And it saves us, Ephesians 2.8. It sets us apart and calls us, Galatians 1.15. It increases our thankfulness, thankfulness, 2 Corinthians 4.15. Helps us in our time of need, Hebrews 4.16. Honors us. 2 Thessalonians 1.12 And we're told to grow in grace and that's in 2 Peter 3.18 And when, when this grace is applied in our lives we're told in Colossians uh, 4.6 to let our speech at all times be gracious. And the word charis is the word where we get the word uh, from that we get charisma. It's, it's from the same family in that. But especially with those of the outside world. The grace within us to be applied, we're told in Colossians 4, 6, and let our speech at all times be gracious. Especially with those of the outside world. And what I'm emphasizing in this is, uh, again, it comes to our identity. And we're new creation, uh, new covenant here, and, and we talk about that. Um, and we preach that and we live that here. In Him we live and move and have our being because we know who we are in Christ. Um, so this understanding of grace is not only for our own understanding, but to be able to take this to the people that we're working with, to the clients that we have out there, to the lady that uh, Mike and I are doing a remodel for, to, to show and demonstrate God's grace. His abundance, His loving kindness, yeah. His power, yes. <laughs> and and to know who we are. And it's you know a lot of times I've heard the things and uh, you know it's well it's just by grace that I'm saved <laughs> and it's so limited. Yeah. And, yeah. and well, one I'm of barely saved. in studying this one of one of the things that I realized is do you know what God's gift of grace to us is? It's the Holy Spirit. Oh, he Spirit. is termed as God's grace to us, the Holy Spirit. And what, what does the Holy Spirit do? He empowers us to be able to live the life that God has called us to. Whoa. Yeah. Is it, this is the never-ending Gospel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, in reference to the outside world, that whole Colossians, I'm in Colossians a little bit here, uh, 4, 5, and 6. Colossians 4, 5 through 6. Behave yourselves wisely, living prudently with all with discretion in your relations with those of the outside world. Those are the non-Christians. Those that don't know the Lord. Those that haven't come into the kingdom, but they're coming. Yes. I tell you, in this hour, revival is reality. And they're coming into the kingdom. So the non-Christians making the most of time and seizing Buying the opportunity. Let your speech at all times be gracious, and that means pleasant and winsome, 
seasoned, as it were, with salt, so that you may never be at a loss to know how you ought to answer anyone who puts a question to you. See, my life, I've received Christ. Uh, Christ is a, my hope, my glory. But I am to take that, and, and the Word tells me that, that I'm to go and heal the sick, to bind up the brokenhearted, and, and to preach the Gospel, the good news. So I need to know what that good news is so that I can, I can share that with the people who need it, that those that are lost and, and uh, haven't come into the kingdom yet. These, these are just some quotes it, it, and some things to muse on and think about that I was looking at as I was looking you know, at grace. It says, Grace is the empowering presence of God enabling you to be who He created you to be and to do what He's called you to do. 